Big fam. All right, guys. As a content creator in the garden space, I have been relying on local friends web reports. I got something in the mail. It's a weather station and I have been holding off on getting one for a while. I just don't know why. I actually have friends that are content creators that are all about their weather stations. And I've kind of, they're, if they're local here too, I've been relying on them for temperatures, especially when I'm growing figs and they're in containers and it gets obscenely cold. Uh, I might have to do some protection methods, rainfalls, humidity, high heat, low heat, freezing temps, getting to know my climate where I am doing a plant nursery. I actually was reached out to by Sane Logic to do a video and they said, hey, we got this awesome smart weather station. Do you wanna try it out? And I was like, you know what? It's time. So I wanna show you how it arrived. It came in this box and I'm gonna open it up here. Let's take a look. It's actually one of the most top rated weather stations you can get. Oh, and I am a nerd. So I care about technical usage of things. If it falls apart easily, it's not really worth my time because I will put things through the ringer. And um, just because I'm in North Carolina, like I have hurricane season, like we're ground zero for the most hurricanes hit if you look at the spaghetti forecast. So I want something that'll actually make it through. But I have a quick setup guide for all of you that need something a little faster, but I will read through all of this. And what's nice, it's got that one-two punch where I'm collecting my own real-time weather data, and then I'm also getting the seven-day forecast associated with that. And it's all connected through Wi-Fi. You guys can see how it arrived. Boom, weather station. Like, what kind of weather stations are you guys using? I wanna know. I've known St. Logic for a while. Um, I wanna know if uh, you guys have used it in the past. The ratings were top rated, so, you know, this is something that I can get on board with having live 24 hour data, like I'm gonna have my own weather station, are you kidding? So here is the connection piece. Here is the mounting pole. Wow, there's actually not a lot of pieces here. That's really convenient. That's perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, that's where that goes. Oh, that's the spring for the filter. That's it, it's like eight pieces. Now it is AI powered, so that makes it convenient since we're entering the age of digital intelligence and machine learning. So that'll be fantastic. It looks like I can either mount it this way or I can mount it this way. So whatever I'm mounting it to, I need to be cognizant of. Well, that's easy. Boom, boom. I have a friend who works for the National Weather Service. I'm gonna be like, look what I got, man. <laughs> I'll be right there with them sharing data. Plus this is gonna be so great because I try to do a lot of uh, temperature displacements, humidity displacements um, with inside my greenhouse and outside my greenhouse. And you can only get so accurate because I live actually right here in Southeastern North Carolina, right on the coast. We actually get little microclimates near the saltwater creeks and ocean estuaries that actually are a little warmer. So there's nuances associated with if you're on the mainland or if you're right here on the coast. And so I am really excited to see what sort of differentials I get from what I'm being forecasted with weather and what I actually record. But I have like, what's this here? Integrated outdoor transmitter, display console, rain collector, wind cups, wind vane, mounting brackets, the instruction manual, and the power adapter. And then for the tools, I just need a screwdriver, a compass or a GPS for wind calibration, for wind direction calibration, and then adjustable wrench. So easy enough, but important enough that I know that it's a technical tool. And it looks like through the app uh, and then through notifications, I have 24 hour access to it through my phone. It is AI powered for data collection. I think having all these smart sensors are really important and knowing that that not only is it battery powered, that it's solar powered as well. And making sure that the solar panel is up and running nicely. A part of the installation process is my due diligence in making sure it's properly installed. And so let's go do that now and find a good spot out in the yard for it. So easy enough. 
I'm going to take the directions with me because that's why they're there. And I'm gonna take my time on my installation and kind of walk you through how I do it. And then we can see how those data are collected. Of course, my tools. Safety. Let's do it. Since this is right here like this, I'm just gonna redrill the holes. I chose this place for the weather station because I get the most wind exposure, the most sun exposure, and the least protection from thermal radiant heat. So I can get a raw reading of temperatures. So let's attach it to here. You can see I had to fix this panel anyway. And so I am going in where I put in those marks. Beautiful. All right, that seems to fit there just perfect. So we'll get that started and then I have to backtrack it, make sure it sets. Then I can drill it from the back side. It's going nowhere. So now. So that's on. Let's insert batteries. Please press the reset button to start the sensor operation. Please remove the sticker. All right, so here's the reset button. Is it coming together or what? Look at that. I got my wind direction. I got my barometric pressure with the wind intensity. Rain gauge. I think we can go insert it on the fence there. Cool as that, the both sides of that. But that should be sturdy enough for now. And since I'm dead center in this open space in my yard, I should be able to go across back and forth and collect appropriate weather data. All right, now that that's installed, let's go install the unit that gives me all the information. Okay. Nothing like kids construction paper, so I can see that the following steps. This does have batteries, but it says it'll run out in two hours. If I just run off batteries, so it's easier to do it off here. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. We got to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So I took the directions that are on the screen here and I put them on a piece of construction paper that so that was easy to read while I set this up. Now I'm going to go on the app on my phone and I'm gonna set it up in accordance with my setup here and out there. All right, let's get the app on here. Okay, so it says I'm set up here in Wilmington, North Carolina, but I gotta change just the Fahrenheit from Celsius and I gotta get it onto my new system here. I have the SA9. Hold the min max button for three seconds. One, two, three. Get the Bluetooth network connection. Configure network device. I switch it. So now it's said I'm connected to this device here. It's giving me internal temperature, dew point, it's giving me pressure. Now I need the outdoor. I can connect to weather underground if I wanted to. So now it should all pop up. Weather, wind, Fahrenheit. Awesome. So now I just need to connect the device. So looking here, I wanted to sync the two together. So I brought the device in and matched up the device and the console. Waited for the reset button to blink three times. And then look here, we are now connected. Right. Everything is together. So I used a compass because you need to face this, the direction that the wind's blowing. You make sure this is loose. If not, you take the rubber bottom piece off, adjust the screw to make it more sensitive. I am about five degrees off of due south because due south is just this way. So it should pick up on it. I should be able to get wind and this should hold it in place. There you go.
it got the wind. Did you see that? It was light enough for the wind to grab it. The wind wasn't that strong. Go from there. So making sure I use the compass on my phone and I put it right here to find out where south was because the south marker is right here on the front of it. The north is right here. And this is giving me an east wind or a western wind, westerly wind. And so we'll wait for that direction to take hold and we'll see how it goes. But I showed you what everything that is on the console inside. So you guys get to see the unit here. We'll even contribute all our data we collect here to Weather Underground. And I'll really dial in what my climate is like. And I'll really dial in what the climate is like here right in my backyard, which is pretty neat. All right, let's check it out. All right, so that's all linked up. It's saying I'm facing south, 194 degrees south, which is perfect. It's giving me my temperature, my humidity, pressure, rain rate, 0 0.06 inches dew point. Everything looks good. I've got my temperature. I've got my UV sunlight. UV index hasn't really registered yet. Pressure, rain, recording just a little bit of moisture. Dew point, temperature, time, wind direction. Feels like zero wind. Nothing of significance yet. So now we have all the data we need and it's been collecting wonderfully. Check this out, guys. Everything you need in your garden collected on a live basis. Let me know if you have any questions and happy to share this information with you. Cheers, Fig Fam.